to get the tools ready. I have my pry bar and I have my gripper. I'm also going to put my gloves on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke the inside of the hive. Just a tad bit, just to let them know I'm coming. So, here we go. I'll get my pry bar. Pry it under the corner. Lift it a little bit. Grab my smoker. And I can already tell this hive isn't doing so well. There's not a whole lot of activity. Well, no, yeah, it's not too bad. All right, check to see, to make sure there's no queens on the cover. All right, so let's take a look inside, shall we? All right, so here we see a modicum of activity. All right, but it's it's mainly in the center of the frames. All right, so they're not doing too bad. So I'm going to take a look, and it looks mostly like uh, honey. I'm going to take one of the frames out. Oops, sorry, little bee. Boy, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. All right, all right, everybody, move out of the way. You got to talk to them. Okay, so here, here we see, um, not a whole lot of brood. There's some uh, larvae at the bottom of some of those cups. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of white and shiny. And uh, so there are some recently laid brood, which is good. I wanted to see if I could find a bee being born which is very possible. Um, nothing yet. Oh, oh, right there. <laughs> right, let me take my glove off. I see one, I see one. Okay, it was right here somewhere. Hold on, hold on. Right there, right there. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bee coming out. You see it? Pushing out, chewing its way out. Isn't that cute? Isn't that precious? And here's a bee with his saddlebags full of pollen, wondering what the heck happened to the hive. Everything looks weird. Look at that. And look how docile the bees are. They're just calm as can be, which is good. You don't want angry, aggressive bees. But um, anyways, there's the little guy being born, and it could take him half hour, so I'm not gonna keep um, showing that. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, back back in. Right. Now I have to make a decision as to whether or not I'm going to keep this top frame on or reduce the size. And to be able to get a better picture, I'm going to go further in the hive. But I think it'll be interesting. Here's a couple of other interesting things. This is. Uh, I don't know if you can see the pollen that's caked down here. Now this is the primary food of the bees. And this is an old queen cell right here. See how it's built out and tubular? I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's an old queen cell. So this hive probably requeened back in the spring. I had four or five swarms. And uh, so she's a, it's a struggling hive. So I'm going to collapse it a little bit to give them a better chance at survival. So the first hive does have problems. So this is a classic example of why you want to have two hives so you can get the stronger hive to boost up the weaker hive. So I'm going to open up this box now and it's going to be crazy with these and I'll take some of the frames from it that has some babies and some honey and put it in the weaker hive to give it a boost. Here we go. You can see there's quite a few more bees and they're occupying a lot more real estate. All right, so this is cool. You see these are the pupa and they haven't been capped yet. So they go from a little egg 
they grow into a larva and then this is them at the pupate stage oh here's one being born right there look at that see them can you see where my finger is yeah very cool huh so these will get capped with this brown paper and then this guy's going to come out and they're going to clean the cell and lay another egg in there okay that was cool these down here are called supersedure cells. So this is them making a new queen. All right, look at this frame, it's pretty busy. These big guys are the drones, they're the boys. See, they're much bigger. And uh, I wanted to show you this. Look how beautifully carpeted that is with brood. See all brown, that's all solid brood. That's a good sign, beekeepers like to see that. Look in there, the beautiful curled up little white larvae. Lots of larvae. This frame doesn't have any wax yet, but they've all accumulated on it. Watch them, how they're, they're holding on. Look how they cling on to each other. Look at that. Ah! All right. You're going to hate this, but it's kind of cool. Watch. <laughs> okay. I did that so I can give them a better frame, one with wax. Because it takes them a lot of energy, a lot of calories to make wax. All right. I'm going to close them up now. But it's as I suspected, this one, this one hive here was pretty weak. And so I gave it some brood and some honey and pollen from the strong hive. And I gave the strong hive some of the frames that were built out with wax, so to save them the effort. And so now I'm going to use my little smoker to encourage the bees to go back in. Come on, little guys. Everybody, get down in there. Go on, everybody. There we go. All right. That smoke just gets them to move. Now this is the fun part, putting this other frame on there. I did not find any honey. There's hardly any honey, which tells me that they're kind of hungry. I'll give them a little sugar water. Excuse me, I better pay attention. Poor little girls. I don't want to hurt them. All right, come on everybody, out of the way. Okay, so I finished up and you can see the one on the right is down, has lost one of the boxes. I made it smaller. And this one here, the strong one, is still doing fine. I gave it some of the frames from the weak one and I gave some of the brood that's in the strong one to the weak one to kind of boost it up. Neither one of them had honey, so I'm going to give them a little sugar water tomorrow morning uh, for two or three days to just boost them, give them a little energy. Um, there you go. So that's beekeeping in a nutshell.